Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle and this must be amongst the favored arenas of supporters all over the world it really does have a very special feel to it this is the perfect game for all parties not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it well on the face of it peter we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake but then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in and this becomes a big incentive it changes the dynamic so there's plenty at stake for them which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest You're just joining us we are already on the way Jim which player is best equipped for this game the exciting Ivan Perisic. A tall and rangy, but he has a deft touch and enough pace to move through. And the finish! Neymar can't be expected to deliver anything better than that. This is heroic keeping. Mbappe. It's Cavani! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited and they need filling, and fast. Icardi spreads it towards the left. Drexler gets it back. Cavani. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. And he heaves it forward. Bernat goes looking. Neymar. Oh, sweet feet. Cavani has slid it through. The defence can get it clear. Paris Saint-Germain have been pretty good down that left side, you know. Look, it's the width that's providing this momentum and, and they look set to further exploit. Well, the defence have two choices. Deal with the man or, or deal with the space. Mbappe, surely, Cavani, crosses it, Neymar with a shot! D'Ambrosio gets it away. Nainggolan. Cavani plays it out to the wing. Acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. England looking to get on the end of this. Cavani. Kimpembe. Neymar. Had to be more accurate. Di Maria tried to play. And that'll be the last act of the first half. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. Any strong opinions on the first half? Paris Saint-Germain may probably be feeling a, a little aggrieved about not capitalising on such a bright start. Their mood at half-time should be more upbeat. The glass remains half-full and 
it should spur them on. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. The action has already resumed here. Paris Saint-Germain playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Perisic. Fatwo Asamoa. He's got it and he's got time. Kimpembe gets rid without sophistication. Kandreva. And it's got through. Gets up to head it! Oh, great save, real class. Mario Icardi sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. That's found its target. He's left Draxler! He's done very well to get to that. Draxler simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And it's Asamoah. Now it's Nyingola. Out to the left it goes. Fires it in low. Icardi. Nyingola hits one! Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Nyingola clips one through. Can he? He's had a goal! Back of the net! Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you won't have to guess which one I preferred. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. A 1-0 lead established. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Bavani is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Well, he's the spearhead to the attack, and they need to blunt his chances. And it's Neymar. Kimpembe. Marco Verratti. Played back in. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Brozovic. Keeper's got good distance on that. Over to the left. Icardi. Now it's Icardi. Perisic. Inter certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Di Maria. Kimpembe. Di Maria. That's sprayed out wide. Cavani. Drilled in. Has a hit! to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate, and we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take the risk, as cunning as it comes. So all the final whistle. A very good game of football. No winner, 
but both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment, and it ends all square. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points, and it ended with the right result, in my opinion. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.